So important to set goals, ladies and gentlemen, even if you don't come anywhere near hitting them. All right, welcome back everybody. It's Brendan here. Welcome to Dad Planet, another what sold on eBay video. Yes, this is for the last week in August, 10 day period. Um, I only do four a month, so period of August 22nd through the 31st. As you can see, almost $4,200 in sales, up 22% from the previous month, 3,000 net. Not too bad for a finish of the month, uh, but I'm gonna show you how I did in all of August because if you've been following along with me, you know I'm trying to do a 15,000 um, months consecutively for three straight months. Now, it didn't happen in August, so we're gonna go over those numbers. Maybe I'll hit it cumulatively if I have a good September. I'm gonna have to hit a you know, pretty big push on that. But here is what August looked like. So I did 16,000, I think, in uh, July, 13,2 in August. So way down from uh, the previous month. Now, uh, I had at the end of July, so August 1st, I had 966 active listings. On the 1st of September, I had 967 active listings. So <clears throat> I'm not really growing. I'm just we're kind of relisting what I'm selling through. And uh, I, I know, I understand that I really, in order to grow, especially now that the kids are back in school or they're headed back to school and parents are trying to balance that, there's a lot less selling volume online. There's still a lot more than, let's say, the previous year, okay? Um, so we're all gonna benefit from that. But it, sales volume is down. So in order to compete with that and, and grow, I had just have to list more. So really it's all self-induced, uh, 13, two for the, for the month. And we've hit September, you know, relatively strong, but um, yeah, it's gonna take a really big push. I just gotta get out more and list more. So again, self, self-inflicted pains here, but definitely not close to the uh, 15,000 mark that I was hoping to hit to make the 90 day period a little easier. So you guys know how this goes. And it, well, if you don't, if you're new, hey, welcome. It's good to see you. If you are old, thank you for uh, hanging with me here. 10 items uh, from the week that was interesting bolo, stuff I hope you find in, in stores. And you know the interesting thing about following me is all of this stuff comes from thrift stores. It, it's not, I'm not, I don't have any like specific niche that I, uh, that I like I have that market cornered. Um, you guys are going to find these same things, right? Because it's not, it's not uh, uh, very specific or very sophisticated or um, you know, just in, a, in, a, in a, such an obscure niche that uh, the chances of you finding it are slim to none. You're all going to find this stuff. So, um, yeah, thrift stores, Facebook Marketplace, it's what I do. I mean, I just kind of keep it simple, and uh, I don't have huge success at garage sales in estate sales, probably because I just don't do them enough. But, um, but yeah, so, you know, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, because this is stuff that all of you are going to find at one point. So, um, so yeah. So uh, shameless plug there, but let's get into the uh, the first bolo here. Um, all right, so what does this look like? It's a power strip, okay? Now, would you have scanned this? Would you have looked this up in store? It looks pretty basic, right? Um, well, it's not. It's a Furman PST-8 power station. whoop de doo So again, when you see enough junk and you see something that looks a little bit different, you'll start to uh, look these things up and get your phone out and do the research on it. That's all I did here. I don't know anything about this Furman brand, but if you look you know, up on the screen, whenever I put up the, the comparables, there's obviously a market for this particular power strip. So I got full price for it, $74.99, $13.62 in shipping. And so they're $88.61 all in. Uh, I paid $6.99. I'm actually surprised that they had a price so high. Um, normally this would be like a $3.99 deal, but anyway, $7, uh, into, into 75 buyer was happy, left positive feedback. Um, scan everything. That's the lesson. This looks like a big boring power strip that, you know, sells for 10 bucks. Um, but instead I got 75 cause I went the extra mile and I hope you do too. So keep that in mind. Uh, just because it looks boring doesn't mean it's not worth anything. All right, have you guys seen my Halloween video yet? I talk about Lamax in there. I have some real monster bolos in that Halloween video, by the way. Um, I think, I don't know if Carrolltown is Lamax. Lamax is Carrolltown. Anyway, this was priced $19.99 at a uh, Goodwill. 
and I got eighty nine ninety nine for it. Twenty four forty seven shipped. Actually, it's global shipping, so they're one fourteen forty six all in before customs and all that jazz. Um, there were a couple of pieces missing. So there's supposed to be a little girl hanging from the Christmas tree, like a little dancing figure. And then you see the figures around the tree. There's one behind the Christmas tree that is also missing. Not only that, it wouldn't rotate. The thing wouldn't rotate for me. And it's still sold. So I knew this before I made the purchase. And because there were no comparable sales um, that were recent, I was still willing to take a chance on it because it's just a gorgeous piece. So Carrolltown Lighted Musical, um, Fraser Opera House, the Nutcracker Suite. I mean, when it lit up, it was beautiful. The sound was was fantastic. Here's a, another picture of it lit up again. And yeah, I mean, it went global shipping. So sometimes you just never know. But 90 bucks, 20 spent. Um, keep your eye out for Carrolltown, Lamax, some of the Dickens, like houses and 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 that's it's see it's season for that now so they're going to sell within within the next uh three three months for sure so keep your eye out for all of these things but yeah this was a rare one worked you know partially and still sold so don't be afraid to buy stuff that's uh, missing pieces i know i've said that in videos before all right clothing so you know i don't do a ton of clothing i still do look uh especially when you know days are light and i'm not finding appliances i'm not finding like my bread and butter items um i will go to clothing so a rack came out uh, on a Goodwill and I went through and they had like 10 really good pieces of Polo Ralph Lauren from the Olympics years 2012 and 2016. This was one from 2012. It was brand new with tags. You can see it right there. Um, Olympic team 2012. I don't know if uh, this was you know owned by somebody that was a member of the Olympic team. If it was, then that's even cooler. But I got... Um, full price for this. The buyer actually bought this and another pair, pair uh, another shirt. So they're $65 all in on this one. They paid $18.40 to have the both items shipped, which seems a little bit too high. But um, it was marked $4.99. Um, Polo Ralph Lauren Olympic. Um, Polo Ralph Lauren rugby style shirts. Always look those up. And then uh, any type of like interesting embroidery. That you uh, that you can find. This one was like you know front and back. Uh, make sure you do a double take because there's good money in it. This is brand new. Uh, the majority of the stuff that I that I found on that rack was used though. So I mean you know I might be saying well it's, it's brand new and tags. Obviously we get sixty five dollars for it. Not necessarily. Some of the other stuff that was um, pre owned uh, still sold for a high dollar amount too. And I have a bunch still listed. So keep your eye out for the uh, Olympic Polo Ralph Lauren mash up. All right, next one here. I don't, I'm not scanning like camcorders, view cams. I'm not scanning those as much as I probably should be. I don't know what provoked me to scan this, but there are comparable sales for this Sharp view cam. Um, so it's model VLE 700 and came with all of the, uh, you know, all of the pieces and parts, couple of batteries there, the battery charger, um, and then I took a video of the camcorder working just to reassure the buyer that it worked and all of the functions uh, worked properly. There's even a tape inside that, you know, you could play and it looked like they, some family was like videotaping a roller skating birthday party or something like that. So it all worked uh, and it worked, it worked well. And I got what I get 70, I got 70 bucks for it. Yeah. And 12 34 in shipping. It cost me $8 and 99 cents. Don't sleep. On the camcorders like i need to take my own advice too because I, I pass them up often and i shouldn't because a year ago i was selling a lot of them and just for whatever reason i just uh i just stopped scanning so don't do that vl-e700 again you'll be surprised there's still a market for this old dead tech type stuff and i got lucky here so another item that i mean if you look at it like how many of those have you seen? You've probably seen a million that look like that in the stores, right? Well, go get your go get your money. Now's the time, right? 70 bucks, good sale. This is an interesting one that I really haven't done any homework on. So Zenith Royal 1000. There are, I think, a lot listed and a lot sold if you look at the comps. So it's from the 70s, and uh, I did video on this one as well. I tested it both in store to know that it was working beforehand, um, retested it at home, and it produced great sound. The um, antennas were in good shape. It was a little, you know, rusty, dusty, that, that type of thing, but um, that's not a concern to the buyer. Again, I always 
uh, photograph the battery compartment for sure because that's important because you know uh, seasoned buyers seasoned like dead tech electronics buyers you'll get away with a little bit of corrosion in the battery um, compartments but some if it's like re truly really really rusted uh, there's no turning back from it at some point so um, show them the battery compartments and don't be afraid to disclose that there's a little bit of corrosion uh, and be crisp and clear with your pictures in your description um, because it won't matter in, in most cases on this item there was none so we were we were in good shape there um royal 6000 i got what did i get i got 62.99 by the way i'm sending offers almost daily now just to kind of keep up with the uh the lower volume that i'm doing so i know maybe a month ago i was i wasn't sending offers at all or maybe once a week I would, if i would have like two or three consecutive days of slow sales that's when i would fire them off now i'm doing them daily just to keep sales going um so 62.99 they took 1070 in shipping so they're 73.69 all in and this was five bucks i mean it was five dollars because it was dirty and it looked old and they didn't want to bother with it so again it's the type of stuff that butters your bread um but yeah keep your eye out for it if you see something like this snag it because you're gonna get 50 60 70 bucks i think there's a, a royal 1000 there's like royal 1000 but there, there were different cosmetic styles i if, think if i remember correctly um you may even get 100 bucks for one of the ones that looks a little bit different than this one there are a couple of iterations of this um, I just don't remember, but yeah, keep your eye out for it because you'll get paid. Okay, Cinderella. So I tell you often, like, don't create the market. For me, if I don't see at least one sale of the model that I have in my hand when I'm doing my research, I don't, I, I very infrequently will, buy, will actually buy the item. Years ago, I would, I would buy it and, and test, you know, like maybe I'll be the first because I think the item is cool or whatever, but... 99 times out of 100, if I don't see a comparable sale, I will not buy the item. This is the exception. And the reason is I felt, because I paid 20 bucks for it, that even if I had to flip it for 40 on Facebook Marketplace, somebody would pay that price, right? So I took a chance on it with no comparable sales, marked it at $199, and it sold for $179.99. Buyer paid $29.44 in shipping, but it was global shipping. So they have all those custom charges too. Crazy that it, it's, you know, going overseas somewhere. It was, you know, they're going to pay a ton of money, even on top of the 210 that they've already spent. Um, again, it only cost me $19.99. Disney Cinderella Special Edition Talking Vanity. Brand new. I just cracked it open to, you know, show that the plastic was still in there. Stickers, pieces, parts all together. And, um, yeah, you're going to need batteries I put in there. Yes, but uh, this is one of those one-off things where... Are you going to find it in a store? Uh, it's probably rare that you're going to find this in brand new condition. But big item, you could probably flip it on Facebook Marketplace. eBay is not the only game in town, right? Craigslist, you know, all the other apps, whatever. So this was one that I felt confident that I could at least double my money and took the shot and still got 180 on eBay. What can I tell you? Great. I'm, uh, you know, I'm pleased. Who wouldn't be? It's a great return. So keep your eye out for it. Um, Items like that that you know you can stay versatile with um, when you're talking about putting them on different marketplaces. All right, sleeper bolo time. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are not sourcing play school sit and spins, I encourage you to get out there, buy them, and sell them. So this is like the fifth or sixth one I've sold in the last 12 calendar months. Full price, 40 bucks. $22.67 in shipping. So they paid $62.66 for an item I paid $3.99 for. I know you've seen these in the thrift stores. I know you've seen them. I know you've seen them sitting over there and you passed them up. Maybe you're not. Maybe some of you are, are onto this sleeper bolo. Um, but if you weren't now, now you are. Um, yeah, so 1973. So here's the thing. Look at the condition of, of this item. It looks excellent, right? I don't know. If you look at this picture here, it says 1973 on the, um, right there. So 1973 Tonka Corporation. If this was like legitimately from 1973, I mean, it's in mint condition uh, for its age. I put 1973 in the description because that's what I see right there. It, to me, this looks like, like a, a, more, a more recent or um, lot, a lot less old model. You, you have to tell me again, I don't, 
I don't research any farther from like the data that I get on the app and then that's it. Every now and then there'll be a really interesting item. I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to do some homework on this or talking to you. Maybe I want to educate you on something. This is a place called since then. I'm not going to do any homework on it. Forget it. Um, I see the comps. I see the listed. I see the solds. Boom, it's done. That is your sleeper bolo um, for this episode. Play school. Get out there and flip those sit and spins. I mean, how ridiculous, right? 30, 40 bucks. But I mean, this is like the this is like the neck breaker when we were young, right? I mean, this is how you like this is how you died when you were little. You spun on this thing until so you like whacked your head on the side of the chair. They were amazing. Um, so uh, we've all done it. But yeah, that's that's it. Keep your eye out for play school sit and spins because it's almost a guarantee. It's another one of those like bread and butter items. There you go. This one, on the other hand, is not so obvious. Um, a vintage tin litho Santa Claus that worked well when you wound it up. Now, if you look at that picture, right? It looks like there's a little bit of dirt, a little bit of rust on that. Um, very, very old, made in Japan, but it did work and it was really cute. So there he is coming up right there. Oh, have fun, look at that. Uh, 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 uh. Um, and I, what did I get? I get full price for this guy, 70 bucks. So there, at the time, I held onto this for a long time. I had it for like eight or nine months. But when I was doing the comparables at the time, there were at, there was at least one recent sold in the price range that I that I had sold mine for. So uh, I took the chance on it, held on to it, and 70 bucks is what I got. They paid 3.99 in uh, shipping, so 73.98. They're all in. They had this price at 2.99. They had this price at $2.99 at a Goodwill where their um, like Hallmark cards are marked $11.99. Their prices are insane. They're insane and it's getting worse. But this was $2.99 because it looked, it was light, it looked grimy and dirty, and uh, you know, they they don't, they're not the experts. We are the experts. So it's our job to uh, you know look with a trained eye and get paid what we're worth based on the knowledge that we gain and acquire as resellers. So I was pretty pleased with that. Three bucks, 70 bucks, really good sale. Shoes. I haven't been doing a whole lot of shoe sales lately. Now, if you watched my previous video or one of the previous videos, I sold a pair of Allen Edmonds shoes that were a size 10 wide. The reason I picked them up was two reasons. Wheelhouse size, a size 10, and the wide size on eBay for me sells extremely well. Same scenario right here. Uh, Brooks Ghost 12, black, I don't even have a black spelled right, um, size 10, and they were wide. I found these at the bins. Uh, yeah, I went to the Goodwill bins. It's so gross there, but look, the kids got to eat. So um, it was a buck 69 a pound. These were like a pound and a half. I don't know. So what did I pay? $3 for them. And uh, I got full price for it. 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 870 shipping. So they're 58, 68 all in. Brooks could potentially be a sleeper. I feel like, you know, people are catching on to Hoka. When I say people, I mean the thrift stores are catching on to Hoka, right? I just paid $12.99 for a pair in stores that they should never have, that should have been priced at $4.29 like I usually pay. So they're on to that, but Brooks sneaks by often, excuse me. So um, keep your eye out for them. $50 on that. 10 wheelhouse size for Brooks men's athletic shoes as well. Wide size, can't go wrong there when you're selling on eBay as long as the condition is good. And of course it was, there's the size 10. Here's a look at the soles, excellent condition. Did I wash them? I did. And uh, I could sell them with confidence knowing that they were completely clean. So keep your eye out for those sizes, the wideness uh, and Brooks, Allen Edmonds and you know whatever else I'm featuring it this week. All right, is that it? Nope. This could have been the sleeper bolo. It's funny. I think the person that bought this bought this on the West Coast and they bought it at like six in the morning, which their time was three in the morning. So maybe they were having trouble sleeping. I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyway, that sale came through at that time and it's a ZEO personal sleep coach. The model is ZEO 101. This was misplaced in a Goodwill marked $9.99 and it was brand new in an open box. So I ran the comps because that's what we do, and I couldn't believe my eyes. The um, pre-owns were selling like, what, 50, 60, I'll put it up on screen, 60, $70 range. Um, I hadn't seen any new ones, so I priced it at $129.99. It sold within six or seven hours of me having it listed. Now, if you look at Amazon, I think these are selling new for like $350, something like that. So um, yeah, $129.99, $10.55 in shipping. So I got $140. In, or they paid $140.54 and, 
And like I said, I only paid $10 for this. Brand new in an open box, you can see, completely covered, beautiful condition. Um, CD case, what else did it come with? It comes with like a little USB plug there and then I think that's a headband, brand new. Thing was brand new. They slapped 10 bucks on it and I scooped it up and sold it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you this fine week. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the bell notification icon. Did you like the video? If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing, uh, how business is going. We are getting ramped up here really quickly for Halloween. If you are not buying Halloween stuff, get it in your cart right now because the stuff is going, 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 and will be gone before you know it. I know we have eight weeks, but let's go. Time is now. Plan ahead. Thank you very much. I love you all. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.